In this video, you will see how in release 2022B you can design and simulate an nonlinear mold predictive controller that uses deep learning based internal prediction model. This internal prediction model is a neural state space where nonlinear functions f and g in our state space equations will be neural networks that we will learn from data. In this example, we will control a pendulum. Pendulum dynamics is nonlinear, the equations are well known. We could write those equations in MATLAB and use them as a nonlinear prediction model for our MPC. However, the point of this example is to show you the new capabilities that would come handy if you don't know the nonlinear dynamics of the system you want to control, but could obtain measurements of system inputs, states, and outputs from either hardware experiments or from a high fidelity simulation model that is not suitable for use as MPC internal prediction model. So let's look at the system inputs, states, and outputs. Torque is the input to the system. System states are pendulum angle and angular velocity, and the outputs that we measure are point mass, horizontal, and vertical positions. Vertical position is zero when angle is zero and is greater than zero otherwise. The pendulum is undamped, so if we let it swing from non-zero angle, it will keep oscillating. We will design a controller that will bring the pendulum to stable equilibrium while respecting bounds on system input and states. The workflow we will follow is simple. We will load the input, output, and state data we collected. Then we will define our neural state space model and will train it from data. We will generate state and output functions required by our nonlinear MPC. We will design our controller. We will simulate it in Simulink, and we will generate C code for embedded implementation. So let's get going. Okay, first we load the data. We will use some of the data for training and some for validation. Next step is defining and training a neural state space model. Training a neural network is not necessarily something that control and system engineers are familiar with. So the API you will see here was designed to be accessible to people who are not deep learning experts. We start with defining a neural state space model. In our case, it has two states, one input and two outputs. We then configure state and output neural networks. We specify training options for state network and for output network. We specify validation data we want to use. And then we train. In this one line of code, we train both the state and output neural networks. And that's it. As you can see, the code is very simple. So let's start training. It takes about five minutes. During the training, we can see training loss improving for both state and output networks. Also, we see how the networks we are learning do on validation data we provided. Our next step is to generate representations of state and output functions that we can provide to our nonlinear mole predictive controller. Once we run that section of the script, we can look at auto generated functions. Here we can see state function, state Jacobian function, output function, and output function Jacobian. All these functions support code generation. State Jacobian and output Jacobian functions help us significantly speed up the execution speed of nonlinear MPC, as Jacobians don't need to be computed using numerical perturbation. We are now ready to design a nonlinear MPC. Our controller uses two states, two outputs, and one input. We specify sampling time next. We also specify bounds on manipulated variables and states. Next, we instruct our controller to use auto-generated state, output, and Jacobian functions we just looked at. We didn't specify prediction and control horizon, so default values will be used. We can now simulate our nonlinear MPC in Simulink. The pendulum subsystem takes torque provided by MPC and produces outputs we measure. From those outputs, we compute state estimates using an observer and feed those estimates to our controller. We can simulate our closed loop model and look at simulation results in the data inspector. We see outputs in the upper plot 
showing us that our controller successfully brings the pendulum to the equilibrium position. Torque requested by the controller is in the lower plot, and we can see MPC respects the bounds we specified. After validating controller and simulink, we can generate C code for embedded implementation. To recap, we showed how you can use deep learning to train an internal prediction model for nonlinear model predictive controller. You can use this neural net based model to design the controller, simulate it, and generate C code for embedded implementation. And this concludes the video.